Ed from Ed's Model Madness. Just wanted to do a real quick video. Hopefully I can keep this under five minutes. Wanted to show you what I picked up this week. Went to Walmart, found a 58 Chevy Impala diecast. I found a 58 Chevy diecast previously. It was down at an antique mall in Georgia. It was a Danbury Mint 58 Chevy Impala diecast and they just wanted too much money for it. Granted, Danbury Mint, it was really nice. Now this one, not Danbury Mint, but I got it for $9.98 and it's close. Not perfect, not, not quite to the Danbury Mint standard, but it's real close. It does need a little bit of detailing and I'm gonna do some work on that in the future, but for right now, I've just got it in a display case. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna get packed up like all my other models and uh, I'll, I'll get around to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you uh, in its unaltered form. And I'm gonna show you my F14 Tomcat. I went out and bought some banker boxes. Now for any of you that have moved in the past, have file folders or whatever, you know what a banker box is. My Tomcat fits in there, I mean, very snug. It, it's, it's a tight fit, but I'm gonna show you how close of a fit it is, and then I'm gonna describe to you how I plan on keeping these things in place, keeping them secure inside the box so that they don't get broken. So. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at the models. Okay, so this is my 1958 Chevrolet diecast. Um, I bought it at Walmart, $9.98. I think I told you that earlier in the video. Now, as you can see, it is a convertible. The hood opens, the doors open, the trunk opens. Um, it's a pretty decent model. Uh, it's got some decent interior details. Now you'll notice that the door panels don't really have any detail on them. That's one of the things that I plan on changing, uh, maybe painting the window cranks and the door handles and kind of bringing out some of the details underneath the hood, uh, doing a little bit of uh, detail work under there, um, trying to get this thing looking a little bit nicer. Uh, probably going to put a little bit of black paint into the grill so there's not so much chrome there, uh, give it a little bit more realistic look. But all in all, I mean for $9.98, this thing's pretty sharp. So, I believe once I get done detailing it, it will rival that Danbury Mint model that I was talking about. And I'm going to leave a link to that here, by the way, so you can go back and look at it. And this is my F-14 Tomcat. Let me zoom out a little bit. As you can see, this thing fits into the banker box really tight. Now, what I plan on doing is I'm going to get some styrofoam. And if any of you know anything about shoring, uh, I'm going to build a little shore underneath the nose of the plane. I'm going to build one where it will sit underneath the wings and go underneath the back half of the fuselage. I'm going to make that out of styrofoam. And then I'll have another piece of styrofoam maybe laid across the top to help hold it in place. And that way I know that they're going to be safe, they're going to be secure. Now these models also have metal alpha probes here on the nose. So I'm not really worried about that getting broken. It can get bent, however. Like I said, I really wanna make sure that these things are secure inside the box, they don't move around. And uh, I really think that styrofoam shoring is probably gonna be my best bet. It's gonna take a little bit of work, but when I get around to doing that, I'm gonna make a video and show you the process. So uh, if any of you ever have to box up your models, hopefully uh, maybe I can show you something, or if you have any tips or comments, Leave them down below. Let me know. Tell me if I'm doing it right or wrong. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, I encourage you, hit the subscription button. Hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see in my videos or if you uh, want to see more of what I'm doing. Give me a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me I need to brush my teeth. My, my breath stinks. I don't care. Just leave me a comment. All right? Anyway. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope everybody had a great day, a great week. God bless each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you again real soon. All right.